body so damn sweet I think about you all day I look for love in my body It takes me to your space Takes me down your way I don't think that's a coincidence Oh no Baby, I think that's a sign What's up, JK Nation? Hey, guys. Well, go back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be asking Justice a series of questions. I posted something on my Insta stories, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. It's Baylor Renee. We'll put it right here. Um, you don't get a shout out today. <laughs> Dang, I don't get a shout out on my Instagram. <laughs> you don't get a shout out today. But I basically posted on my Insta stories. Um, to ask any questions they would want to ask you. Oh. So okay. it could be about anything. So I'm about to get interrogated? Pretty much. No, really? not interrogated. The questions are not like. How many questions? Serious. However many I feel like asking. There's a lot. So. JK Nation, you. We're just going to go through that. You played a part in this and didn't want to tell me? Spot. Oh, man. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, Marie Gonzalez asked, How long have you guys been together? So. You, you know, that's easy. So we've been together for a year now. We just hit a year in October. And for our anniversary, we went to Spain. Yes. Right, Vivian? It and it was the greatest time ever. It was amazing. Um, yeah, we've been together for a year and I'm gonna marry this woman, so I'm just saying. You heard that? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, so a one a little over a year. Yeah. Wait, these my questions or your questions? Like, let me answer them. You can't say anything. <laughs> you can't say anything. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Angie dot underscore asked, am I older than you or are you older than me? So we're actually kind of like, well, I'm. she's a month older than me or two months older than me. I can, you can't I'm answer. Like eight months. You can't answer. That's a lie though. Okay, let me get her <laughs> Not right. a lie, he just. <laughs> okay, let me get it right then. So Kayla is obviously older than me, right? She's 23, I'm 22. I turn 23 next month. So then we'll be the same age. And then shortly after she turns 24. She was born a year before me. Yeah, I'm like. But like, eight, like yeah, eight, eight, 10 months. Jbig21 asked, where does he get his sense of style? I want to say my sense, that's a good question. I like questions like this. Mm -hmm. So I want to say my sense of style like developed over time. Like when I first met Kayla, I didn't have as much style as I have now because Ooh. what? I got the credit. Okay, you get into don't don't get big headed. <laughs> the only reason I say that is because I saw the way she dressed. Like she dressed in more of like, like she dressed grown, and I dressed kind of like I would wear like, I mean not saying it's wrong, but I wear jeans and like Jordans and like a regular graphic tee. You know, like that's mm -hmm. not gonna fly nowadays for me like i gotta step it up i do like that though yeah you like it but, but i feel like you you kind of like i've evolved evolved yeah. you know into like a more mature look yeah so like i honestly like i just figured out what works for me and then i realized like you know like i could kind of step out my comfort zone and try some things because like me honestly i'm not the type to just wear the same thing all the time like one day i'll wear, I'll wear something crazy the next day i'll wear something totally different so I step out of my comfort zone with my style. If you would ask me who's my influence in style, I would say a lot of NBA players because we're all over six feet, well, most of them. And I kind of look at them to see like, you know, what might fit me if we, ha we have the same height, things like that, body type. Yeah, I feel like when you're really Long tall, arms. you can like pull off certain things. Yeah. So you gotta have like, I don't know, look at like. Yeah. Growing styles. up, Growing up, it was crazy because a lot of my friends were shorter and I tried mm -hmm. to wear what they wore. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, I can't wear this. Like, I can't just wear, like, I can't, I don't know. Some things I just can't wear, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, you just have to, like, pay attention to your style. And if you put, you know, your time into it, you'll get better, so. Yeah. And it just, like, I think, feel like over time, the more you get into, like, style, you kind of just yeah, absolutely. learn more things. Absolutely. So, this is Adeline. Adeline, I believe. She asked, what was your first impression of me? So when I first saw Kayla, I was like, damn, <laughs> that woman is so beautiful. Like just breathtaking. I was like, damn, cause she's tall. She had that grown woman persona. And like the first day I saw her, I was like, this woman is gonna be with me for the rest of my <laughs> life. Like I, I saw it, like, I was like, I don't care what I gotta do. I gotta make sure she's mine. So 
Yeah, my first impression was just like, wow, I'm breath. Like, I didn't even know what to say. I didn't even have a thought. I think I was just lost in the moment. Hmm. Like, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what to really say. Cause I was like, damn. I thought you were fine. I was like, damn. I was like, damn. <laughs> hey, damn. And people still say it now, damn, you fired. <laughs> even in person, like, damn. This is from Dior Dijon. <laughs> Not Ooh. Jay Dior. Who? Dior Dijon. Dior, okay. What's the key to keeping the drip hella different from the last fit? I think just for me personally, like I'm creative. So I'm like, okay, if I wear this, I could do this next time. Like I always step, I always make a different step. Like with style, I don't really care. Like I try to wear what I like. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, this is my question. <laughs> hey, you about to... I can't even answer these questions. Because I want to answer some of them for No, you. <laughs> this is not your Q&A. Sometimes, like, if I see anything that kind of, like, I don't know, sparks a little creativity in me, I'll, like, you know, take a little piece of that and put it into my outfit. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have I don't have a lot of clothes or the best clothes. I just know how to put things together. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, like, I like the way you, like, you'll wear, like, cool shoes and then, like, it like you'll tr she'll try different things on together and i feel like that's what's important you have yeah. to like kind of find like a look yeah and then like he'll he'll like you know put different stuff on and mix match it and then it's like a look yeah. you know you're like dang you, I you love, would never I you would have never thought like oh those certain shoes will go with like yeah. plaid pants and like you know yeah, so, yeah. I, I like to like that. i see something in my closet i'm like oh shoot this goes with this and i feel like wow i just created something mm -hmm. so i don't know i'm I got time on my hands, so I could, you know, I could do it. <laughs> N dot N dot G16. I can't really, like, pronounce. <laughs> I didn't no even pronounce something like that. Okay. She asks, what is some life advice to keep being motivated and push forward? He's the best with this. I would say just never give up on your dreams. Never, ever take anybody's advice if they're not doing it. Like, there's so many people that try to give you advice, right? Like, for instance, like, I used to play basketball. And somebody who doesn't play basketball will try to tell me like, oh, no, nah, you should do this and that. Like, first of all, you don't even know. You can't even put yourself in my shoes to understand what's really going on. So, like, that's rule number one. You got to make sure you speak to people and communicate with people who actually been what you've been or going or been what you've been through. And also just I always talk to God. I, I pray every day because it's not easy to go through this world without like, you know, some type of like you know foundation. strength foundation like luckily i have a beautiful girlfriend and she's very supportive like we can talk about anything my family i'm always communicating like i communicate so much so people know when something's going on like i just let them know the little the smallest little tiniest things and um also i journal a lot like that's helped helped me a lot too because like i feel like for us you could say like famous or whatever like being kind of like famous or known well known a lot of people usually want they want to be around you just for one thing so you gotta like find ways to like help yourself get through things and kind of like you know help yourself and guide yourself through things and basically like keep your keep your head right on your shoulders because people are going to try to knock you down don't let anybody do that just stay motivated and have fun smile and you're going to be all right. So Angie asked, um, where did you guys meet? So where did you meet me for the first time? Okay, so we first met actually at Panera Bread. Mm -hmm. That was the first time we actually met. We have a video actually. Yeah, we have a video of recreating the first time we met. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's so good. Like it, it was fun. It was fun to make. Jasmine asked, what other hobbies do you enjoy other than YouTube? One of my hobbies off the camera is I like to play basketball. I actually played basketball in college, but obviously I'm not playing now. I really try to get in the gym as much as possible. I like to work out. Um, I like to do so many other things that are just not coming to my head right now. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, that wraps up our questions. I feel like people got to know a little bit more yeah, about you. Yeah, you guys got to know a little a little more about me. Get to know Justin. We Jeff definitely is. have to do it again because, like, I feel like as more people, you know, get involved, mm -hmm. there's going to be, We'll do, like, like an update. Updated, yeah. Next time, we got to do you, babe. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you guys can send me questions now that you would like me to ask Kayla. 
That'd be interesting. I want to do that. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end today's video right here. But before we end, we have to give today's post notification shout out. So our post notification shout out goes to Lana Ray. Thank you so much for being a part of the nation. If you'd like to be mentioned in our next video, all you have to do is like, subscribe, hit that post notification button right there. And comment done. That's all you got to do. Do those things and we'll mention you in our next video. If you didn't know when you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you have a chance to enter the giveaway. Don't want to miss it. We're giving away a pair of Yeezys. All the rules for the giveaway are in the description below. Read them well because if you miss one step, you're not going to be entered into the giveaway. We're looking. Yeah, we're paying attention. Anybody who's participating in it, we're going to research and make sure you've actually followed every step. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.